Before we dive too deeply into assignments, I want to look at what makes Teams work. A simple answer to that is SharePoint. SharePoint is the place where all the files are stored. It is the website and the web page. Um, if you look on the left, you can see Teams, what we're used to. And then on the right, this is the SharePoint site. Notice over here to the left, you see Notebook. This is the class Notebook that's associated with each team. Pages, class materials. Class materials are what can be found in the files in the general channel. Site contents, we'll delve a little bit deep, more deeply into that. And then the recycle bin. Anything you delete from Teams or from your class Notebook that was created in Teams can be found in this recycle bin. SharePoint has a lot of nice features, but it is a little bit difficult to understand and use, whereas Teams, the buttons are pretty simple. So how does Teams handle assignments and how does it work with SharePoint? Every time an assignment is created in Teams, SharePoint adds a folder for each student with the title of that assignment. So as you can see here to the left, I created three assignments in Teams. Test Student 20 now has three different folders in their SharePoint. Now, how does Teams handle those assignments? When a student submits in Teams, a version file is created in SharePoint. The teacher then corrects the assignment, adds comments, critique, and they do so in Teams, and those corrections automatically apply in SharePoint. The teacher returns. The version file is updated and closed for editing. So you can see right here, version 1. What would have happened is the student hit submit, the teacher corrected it, the teacher returned it. Version 1 is done. If the student then just opened the file, typed up all the changes, made a bunch of changes, and hit resubmit, then we start this process over again. So Teams is assuming that you want to have a constant dialogue with students about their work. Therefore, it allows students to make corrections to papers directly in assignments and then resubmit them. When a student resubmits in Teams, a version file is created. That's version 2 here. The teacher corrects the assignments in Teams. The teacher returns. The version file is updated and closed. So that's version 2 done. Let's say the student then corrects again in Teams, resubmits, and when we go through this whole list all over again, we get version 3. So as I see it, you have a choice if you want to have drafts at hand. The first one is to create a new assignment for each draft. That means you'll have assignment like poetry, draft one, poetry, draft two. Or you could tell students to download the return files and then add work rather than resubmit. And that would be, you would have each of the files in Teams assignment. The other way would be to bring SharePoint into Teams. This is not difficult. You would still work through assignments. You just view the storage process a little differently. So you and the students still have that back and forth through assignments, but the versions are stored somewhere else in the team. The nice advantage is student work is in one place for you and the student. So every file they've ever submitted is right there at your fingertips listed by the student. You can monitor the current file status through the working folder. So if the student has made a few changes but not resubmitted, you can go in and look at those. And from my perspective, I think it will benefit you and the students because the student's work is already in portfolio form. It's got all the different versions with all the different teacher comments, and they're organized by assignment. So let's see what that looks like in Teams from the teacher's perspective. So in my humanities team, what I have done is brought SharePoint into Teams. I have included it in the files right here. Humanities class team student work. I brought this from SharePoint. It's a simple process. So when I open it, I have two choices, submitted files or working files. Working files are the files that are undergoing change right now. So a student has a file back and maybe they're working on it. It's in the working files. Submitted files have those versions, version one that was returned by the teacher, version two returned by the teacher, and so on. So submitted files, I wanna look at test student 20, the paper one, and there's the three versions of paper one. I can look at paper two, 
they're the three versions of paper two. It's just happenstance that we're on version three. You could have version 10 or 20. So all of the students' papers are kept right here. This file is not editable by the students. Just to review, this can be found in the general channel under files. So easy to get to, near assignments, near the class notebook, near grades. In order to get it here, you have to go get the link and bring it here and add cloud storage. And I'll show you how to do that.